A year ago, I made a video about one of the sickest degenerates I've ever seen online. An individual so reprehensible that their actions with animals are considered unforgivable to many. An individual who would promote such illicit actions with animals on their channel. And an individual that for the last year has been continuously documented over and over and over as their story continued to get more and more bizarre. I thought that those videos were the only videos I would ever have to make about this individual, but I come here today to ask you, do you really know who Hypnotist Sappho is? And I want to clear the air and say that for the record, I am a zoophile. Meet Hypnotist Sappho, someone whose name has become very well known on sites like TikTok and YouTube for their outspoken beliefs on this topic. And it's a lot like when homosexuals were coming out in the 1960s. An individual this sickening, this depraved, should not be allowed a platform to continue posting on. So, where do we begin? Before her now infamous coming out video, hypnotist Sappho was once known for hypnosis therapy, more accurately, sexual hypnosis therapy that she would do with many fans and friends. Sappho would describe some of these erotic trances in messages where she would describe them as very pleasant, saying that they suddenly happened and that they would lead to in-game sex acts in VR chat. Around this time, Sappho would also allegedly engage in explicit acts with an individual known as Grey. They would converse with them erotically and then make digital love to them in VR chat, what most would describe as a very reprehensible act. Sappho would come into contact with a person named Grey in VR chat sometime in August 2021. She would start to take advantage of Grey, who was emotionally unstable at the time as they had just broken up with their boyfriend. On top of that, Grey was 16 years old at the time, making them underage when they were speaking with Sappho. She would use their naivety and emotionally vulnerable state to play out her kinks on Grey, culminating in an NSFW encounter in VR chat. Grey would come to realize that what Sappho was doing was illegal and wrong, told the admins of the world she would frequent what had gone on between the two of them, and they would subsequently ban her from all the worlds. Sappho would try to shift the blame onto Grey and accuse them of working to ruin her reputation, but by that point it was too late as the truth had already been out. This would not be the only time Sappho had any questionable engagement with a minor, but this is the main one. Though, Sappho would also be accused of allowing a minor into NSFW chats in her Discord server, something that Sappho responded to claiming was an oversight because mods had all access to all channels and Sappho didn't consider the fact this person was 17. This brings us quite neatly back to what all of us remember hypnotist Sappho for, and that is the kind coming out video. The video that's been discussed and done to death over and over and over. A video in which hypnotist Sappho would say the following. Hi everyone, you all know me as Sappho and I wanted to make a video about coming out. Coming out with anything can be very difficult, especially if it's something that society currently views with disgust or is a bit dangerous to even come out with with the way that things are right now and it's a lot like when homosexuals were coming out in the 1960s during stonewall and those sorts of events and i know that 99 percent of my viewers my community you don't have anything wrong with homosexuals or gay people, you support them, you support LGBT, nothing against them. But I guarantee that many of you, even if you can't imagine it now, if you were growing up in the 1960s and were being fed all of the news and social propaganda about how gay people should stay in the closet how it's unnatural and against nature and all sorts of crazy shit like that, a lot of you would probably be anti-gay, anti-LGBT. And that's just how it is. And I respect you all. And frankly, this sort of thing would have leaked out eventually especially with how cancel culture is these days and other furry drama. There would be people out there that, you know, they want to have a, 
a gotcha moment. They want to build their fame and popularity and, you know, expose people. And <laughs> I, I'm just not going to give the opportunity for a Sappho exposed kind of video. And I would rather suck the air out of the sails of the Ransonas and instead of letting this sort of thing build, just be open and honest ab about myself and my beliefs. And I want to clear the air and say that, for the record, I am a zoophile. You did not mishear that. I am a zoophile. I do not have a thing for humans. I am more attracted to dogs like German Shepherds. This fucked up video would be filled with a plethora of excuses for hypnotist Sappho's disgusting reprehensible behavior, justifying her attraction to literal animals saying that it's the same thing as being gay and that people are just convinced by propaganda into being discriminatory against people who engage in those acts. This is obviously an insane notion and most people understand there is no connection between being attracted to someone of the same gender as you and being attracted to a literal animal that cannot consent. There is a major difference there and it shouldn't need to be discussed or overstated. We all understand why this video was bad, and that's why Sappho got so much hate, even if Sappho did gain an audience of people who were probably there just to troll. In response to the backlash, Sappho would make a video titled For the Haters, a video where Sappho would dance and celebrate the fact that people had hated on her and say that her questionable interests were totally valid. Hypnotist Sappho Dog fucker. has joined your lobby. Uh, cool, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It was supposed to be some kind of own against people or something, but it was just very cringe. It's just a weird person flexing the fact that they've owned their haters by being weird. <laughs> like, I don't care. The police probably will, but... <laughs> Sappho would also in this time start her own organization known as the ZNA, which was supposed to be an organization that stood up for the rights of people like Sappho, aka people who just can't keep it in their pants, especially around something they should definitely keep it in their pants around. This organization was unsurprisingly not the most popular thing people have heard announced, and the only people who were really invested in it were people like Sappho, people who probably should be in a jail cell, not running an organization. I am working with a large group of people uh, between 17 and 20 active members of the zoosexual community and that includes writers, artists, intellectuals, and pretty much everybody that you would need to start an organization from the ground up. I am very happy and proud to announce that I am the chairman of the first zoosexual rights organization in the United States and based in North America. And the name of the organization is Zeta North America. Zoosexuals Engagement for Tolerance and Acceptance, North America. And it is a legally incorporated 501c3 nonprofit organization. This claim that they're a legal 501c3 non-profit organization, by the way, is a blatant outright lie. After people criticized Sappho for completely lying about this, as for it to be a 501c3 that have to be in operation for three years, Sappho would change all web pages to say that they were pending a 501c3, and eventually the entire organization, or at least its web pages, would close their doors as most people abandon ship. And it's around here we get into Sappho's unhinged Twitter rants. Starting with the most questionable Twitter spaces to ever take place on the platform, once with some of the most criminal titles I think I've ever seen, which I previously discussed on this channel, and audio that I cannot play but involves very explicit verbal sound cues. For very apparent reasons, I'm not going to discuss these spaces on a video. <laughs> Sappho at one point would also claim that one of her friends, Julia, had taken their life for being harassed for being a zoo. 
Safra would then in an instant make a flurry of tweets about how sad she was, how she'd been drinking alcohol to cope with this, how people need to stop harassing zoos because it leads to things like this, etc etc. Only for Julia a few days later to come out saying that she was alive and that her parents had just taken her phone away. Safra would then continue to fish for excuses, even at one point saying the family might be responsible for lying to Safra about what happened to Julia, also arguing that maybe Julia was just hacked. But Julia would in response show a video of her dog, proving that it was her, because this dog had been seen before. Julia would also provide a testimony in a video by another YouTuber known as Brandon FM, where she would say the following. I woke up to rip, fly high, smoke on that pack zoo bozo. It turns out Safa said I was dead online and didn't even bother blurring out my last name. She said that my parents invited her to my funeral. My parents didn't even know who Safa was. Safa at this time would also come out on Twitter as a map. This is incredibly concerning considering how many young children Safa had convinced into believing they were a zoo and then could very easily take advantage of by pretending she is their mommy with the way she continued to act. For example, Julia was 14 years of age. Safo should not have been around people like this, especially if Safo admits that she is a map. Safo would unsurprisingly be banned from Twitter soon after. Following this, multiple people would speak up about how Safo had involved themselves with minors in multiple different ways. Now, during all this stuff going on, Safo was constantly talking to a 16 year old named Kylo on Twitter before the ban. She would make suspect post after post interacting with him, and people started to notice and get a really weird vibe from this. She would even buy Kylo food after his mother was being neglectful and not tending to the household, showing that their relationship was very close. Safa would say it was nothing and that people were just being weird about it, but given the great experience from earlier, it's safe to say something was brewing behind the scenes. Those suspicions would be raised even further as DMs would leak of someone allegedly talking to Kylo and in those DMs he would admit that he and Safa were dating. People would start to dig more into this and Kylo would make a post on the Mastodon server trying to quell the rumors and that it was nothing, threatening to ban anybody who talks about it or tries to dig any deeper. Another zoo file named Becca would come out and say that she and Safa had gotten together and that it was time to admit it now that the secret was out, and so for the next 24 hours people were under the assumption that the Kylo situation was just a red herring and nothing more. As expected however, people were right as the very next day Kylo would confess that he and Safa were dating and post a bunch of DMs to prove so. The DMs show them two arguing as they break up with each other and Safa trying to guilt trip him to no avail. Kylo would even leak DMs between him and Becca, showing her getting mad that he leaked the truth out to the public and in one screenshot even admits that he and Safa sent pics to each other after she asked for them. More DMs would leak between Safo and Kylo, showing things going down between each other, and even at one point she sent an NSFW audio clip that no way in hell am I playing in this video. It gets worse though, as Safo had an alt account that she had posted on a couple of times, and at one point interacted with a 13 year old on Twitter named Glitch. Admitting in DMs with Kylo that whatever she wanted to do with them was highly illegal but extremely hot to her, which is downright chilling to even think about. Safa would soon after delete her entire YouTube channel and release a post to a website titled Here Rests Hypnotist Safa. This website would explain that the Safa brand was going to be dropped and that Safa was just going to continue her life while getting therapy for her issues. And in a shocking twist, on February the 20th, Safa would make an Instagram post. This post would say that with some help, she had resolved her issues and was no longer a map or a zoo, saying that she in no way holds hate to any of the fans she encouraged into being zoos or maps, but suggests that they stop these acts and get therapy. Therapy. This could have been the good ending, but obviously no story when it comes to internet drama ends in a positive way. Around a week later, Safa would post a bloodthirsty, aggressive message towards people hunting her down in a post titled A Small Update. This would read, Stop LARPing, cope and try harder because you and your army of children have not doxxed anything meaningful or accomplished anything. Alongside her saying, I have not and will never return. I haven't been questioned by law enforcement, no FBI, no local police, nothing because apparently there's not a thread of evidence on her. Stop wasting the time of law enforcement because they need to deal with real predators. She supposedly never asked to be followed like a cult leader that she was supposedly in a mental health ward for a couple weeks and have been in therapy for her mental illnesses since, that she wants the Safo name to die out, calling the people calling her out pathetic incels, saying she was never under house arrest and that she's not dating minors. I could waste time going over rebuttals to every one of these points, but I don't feel it necessary. I feel a lot of this information speaks for itself and we don't really need to waste energy responding to someone who's clearly trying to just antagonize people. On July 27th, Safo would post a video to her now rebranded channel where she would admit to a bunch of things Things. This video was titled Past, Present, Future and had some very interesting claims and admissions from Safo. Specifically, an admission that Safo had dated teens in the past. I have dated teens. 
I'm rebranding. I'll be using a new name, new avatars, new outlook, and I'm going to try to keep myself out of trouble, genuinely. I'm studying and practicing hypnosis again. I'm pretty rusty right now because it's been a while, but that's why I'm studying. So this channel will pretty much be solely focused on that and maybe some language stuff in the future because I'm studying some foreign languages. Anyway, I hope I've explained things well enough and thank you for listening if you stuck through that. Sapphire would later be caught in a different VR game on video where someone would record a conversation with her and it would lead to her being banned from the game which resulted in her making a post on an account she'd made to bandwagon to ban another creator where she would say she was going to take her own life. This post would read, It was nice knowing you all. I think my time is up unfortunately. I tried to move on. My opinions had changed. I was 20 for God's sake at the time I dated a 16 year old and it was legal. The grooming allegations have never been proven. I have not so much as been contacted by law enforcement. I do not advocate for zoo behavior even if I had in the past. I grew up and recognized my mistake. I dated a 16 year old and foolishly called myself a map in the past which I no longer believe in whatsoever. I have been banned from the last social outlet I had. For a time I thought maybe I could move on and have a second chance. I no longer have anywhere to go and my time is truly over. I have nothing to live for anymore and I'm going to end things tonight. I tried so hard. I've been on medications, spent time in psych wards, have been in therapy for so long. I was a former active duty airman. I wanted to spend my my life loving and helping others. That's why I got into hypnosis. Keep me alive in your memories. Yours truly, Valerie. She would also post a five minute audio recording of her crying and later a picture of a snuggle with some messages that read, I'm in front of a hospital right now, just sitting in my car and not knowing what I want to do. And it was at this point that everything went quiet and debates started on whether Sappho was really dead. With Lazzy Lazarus tweeting, I got confirmation that Valerie is dead using her real name. And the person I was speaking to all this time was one of her friends that was posing as her. I didn't give a fuck if you try to keep hope alive, you don't parade as the dead. This was obviously very vague and it was very hard to really know what had happened in this situation. Other than very clearly, it was quite drastic. Then, an account claiming to be Sappho's partner, the account being called Valerie, or Hypnotist Val, would say, Hello everyone reading this. This is Valerie's partner. I'm sorry to say, but on Saturday morning, she took her own life. No information will be held in the public for safety issues for her family and loved ones. I'm sorry to anyone that was close to her, please do not contact this account. And this was obviously really upsetting, tragic, quite devastating. Ni oh, it, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. She's still alive. This is completely a blatant lie. On September the 15th, after Kiwi Farms got taken down, Suffer would post, Kiwi Farms and I go a long way. They're petty insults who would love nothing more than to bring me down. I know you are listening, but I'll see you disappear. You thought you could make my life hell through your speculation and hearsay, but now it's my turn. Hi everyone, my involvement with the DKF's campaign is over. I'll be shedding the name of Hypnotist Sappho for good after DKF's task is complete. It's yet another sacrifice for mummy, but it's gotta be done. I assure you I'll be back, but as just another fellow zoo. Showing that this absolute disgusting freak, the one who this entire time was claiming she'd learned and changed from her disgusting ways, was the exact same same person as always. Nothing changed and she's still the exact same freak. The person who thought it was acceptable to do inappropriate things with animals and justify it in a video where she would continue to make excuses for it. Sappho hasn't changed. But with that being said, I think if I talk about any more of this, I'll get taken off of YouTube for harming my own safety. So I think I'm just gonna end the video here. With that being said, if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I'd appreciate any support to help me reach like 10 bajillion subscribers because I'm super famous and swag. We'll be meeting KSI in London next week or something. I don't know, depending on how the channel grows, totally. Feel free to check out my Twitter too if you'd like to support me over there and boost my ego. I would love to have a major ego. I'll make a tweet about Breaking Bad or something someday. Join my Discord if you'd like to cry in general chat. No venting in general chat. No venting in general chat. And yeah, I like men. Says you wanna rock with a nigga like me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with a nigga like me. We can catch a fly. Says you wanna rock with a nigga like me.